Hey, welcome back. Let's go ahead and head in. Let's get a, a good tour of the home itself. As we come in the main door, uh, we're going to stop here just for a moment. Notice the nice wainscoting, hardwood floors, stairwell to the left going downstairs. We're immediately go going to turn right and we have a half bath just to the right as you come in the front door. Still that wainscoting in here. Uh, nice cabinets, very nice finished off half bath. Let's walk back out and we're going to go straight ahead, but we're going to go ahead and turn left and go into the master Let's walk into the master bedroom first and let's get a let's get a view of that let's start off with the master bath we have uh, two sinks one on your left one on your right nice uh, garden tub whirlpool tub walk-in shower nice windows overlooking the uh, natural landscaped uh, uh, hillside that you have behind your house and of course a uh, closet there and we're going to walk back down the hallway we got a his and her closet walk-in on the left and obviously we have another one just across the way on the right as we walk into the master bedroom I think the first thing I want to do is go ahead and show you the view. What kind of view are you going to have? Everybody wants to see this view. So let's go ahead and look at the view from the master bedroom. And I'm standing just in front of the master bed. I'm almost touching it here. But if you look out your window from your master bedroom, this is the kind of view that you get. Man, what a great, great view that you have looking out on the lake every day as you get up from your bed here. But let's turn around here. You've got a nice access out into the porch. Uh, out into the covered deck. We have over 1,100 square feet of, of covered decks on this house on three floors. So you have access going right out in the morning time to that, to that covered deck area. But as we pan back around, as you can see, the room is plenty of big enough. This is a king size bed that we have in here right now. Plenty big enough to, uh, to support uh, you know, any kind of large furniture that you might have. And uh, nice tall 10 foot ceilings. Very nice finish. You know, notice the baseboards on this home. Let me get a good shot of those. Those are 10. Those are 10 inch baseboards. So uh, most of the time you don't see 10 inch baseboards in a home, but you do in this one. Not very uh, nicely finished as far as the trim work goes. All right, let's walk back out here the way we came in. We're passing the closets and the master bath. And we're gonna turn left. And let's go ahead and look at the living room area. Uh, first of all, I probably wanna notice those tall ceilings. 22 feet tall, wood beams, uh, board and batten ceiling also, beadboard I should say up the top of the ceiling. Nice, nice wind is overlooking the lake. Let's go ahead and walk up here. And actually, let's go ahead and walk out on the deck and see what kind of view that we have here from the main deck of uh, the living room. Go ahead and walk out here. Oh yeah, see there? What a great view. Looking all the way down the channel, you got your dot below you. Like I said, we're on the main floor right now. And as mentioned earlier, we have over 1,100 square feet of finished decking. Walk around this way and you can see uh, some more decking on the side just off the breakfast nook. So let's walk back inside. Notice again, wainscoting, nice trim work around all the windows. Nice fireplace area, great place in the corner to put a flat screen TV as you see one right now. Uh, got a wet bar directly behind the couch there, pass through window into the kitchen. Let's go ahead and walk into the kitchen. Probably the first thing I'm going to notice is those granite countertops. Uh, cherry cabinets, nice appliances, nicely finished kitchen, just a beautiful kitchen. So let's back up so you can get a little bit better shot of it. And obviously we have a little breakfast nook, breakfast area that you can sit here and eat breakfast, a lunch, dinner, whatever it may be. And obviously as you're sitting here, you're looking right out up there on the lake. You know, this home is set up for multi multiple families or just one large family. Could be an in-law suite because of, as you pass through into the kitchen, you have another kitchen that's exactly behind you, finished off almost the same. Granite countertops, cherry cabinets, nicely finished off. So this is a completely separate unit or could be a completely separate self-contained unit here where we are right now. That door ahead of you goes out into the oversized two-car garage. But let's turn and walk, instead of walking by the kitchen, let's walk up here and look at the in-law suite or the, you know, an area for a second family that m might want to go in with you on the home. This, like I said, this home is set up for multiple families. I mean, you can have three or four families in here and, and never, never run across each other hardly. Let's go ahead and look at here, king size bed. Nice size room, very nice size room. Plenty of room to put whatever you'd want up here, larger furniture, pool table, ping pong table. But you can look right out here again, and man, what a shot. Looking right back out on the lake. And of course, this has its own uh, full, ba full bath in here. Get a good shot of that. Ceramic tile, nicely finished. Let's go back downstairs on the main floor that we just came from. And we're actually gonna go back 
Let's go ahead and go now. Let's go down to the second floor, which is the, uh, the level right under the main floor. Let's walk back through the kitchen, right back through the living room. And let's walk, let's go ahead and walk downstairs to the second level. See how that level is set up. Wow, I think the first thing you're going to notice is the open space on the second level, the, the, the middle level. Like I said, this is three levels. We were, on the we were on the main. This is the second level. Nice, nice open feel to it. Got a great room in here. This could be a bonus room, bunk room, media room, exercise room, whatever you'd like it to be. Another closet. Got another full bath. So that's two full baths. Of course, the, 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 there was a half bath on the main floor, so that's two already. And let's walk over here. And same thing, master suite, again, on the main of the second level here, overlooking the lake. Man, what a great shot, great shot. Another master suite, like I said, you can access this deck. This is the second deck that's covered. Walk-in closet, another master bath. So right now we have three potential master suites, one above the garage, this one here, and the one on the main floor where we were just a moment ago. So let's go now, uh, let's go on down to the third floor, the lower level, and let's see what we have going on down here. Back on the lower level, same setup. Now what he did different, the owner did here, is he stained the concrete. And the reason is, if you want to bring up your uh, water skis or inner tubes or canoes, this could be the, the rough house area for the kids. Whatever you want to do down here, he didn't want to put any nice carpet, anything like that. He left it with the stained concrete just so someone could finish it however they wanted to. Or since it's the lower level, closest area to the lake, this would be the area that's most accessible to bring up the, uh, the uh, water toys. Again, closet, master, master bath, and like I said, another master bedroom down here. Could be another master bedroom. So we've got potentially four master bedrooms in this house. Let's walk outside and get a good feel of the outside area. Let's walk down to the dock. We're gonna get a good, uh, good view of the dock and access to the lake. This is a 24 by 28 cover dock that we're coming up on here. We're only 50 feet from the water on this property. The house is built to the 50 foot setback. So we've got a cover dock in place, 24 by 28 with a 6,000 pound lift. Uh, so if you've got a larger boat, no problem. Easy, uh, very easy to get up and, up and out of the water. So you're kind of looking left and looking by right, man, I'm telling you, what a great setup. Absolute awesome setup on this house. I mean, you just can't beat it, absolutely not. And kind of just want to give you a view of the home from, from the lake. Let's go, on, uh, let's go out now by uh, boat and uh, look at it from the water. 